That's a from Ottawa, Canada. If a sister, as a male teacher, should she wear any niqab in front of him, even though she is not a niqabi? The niqab is best. It's better. It's closer. Uh, the Quran clearly affirms this: that uh, when we ask the wives of the Prophet ﷺ for something, then ask them from behind a screen. And the law says that that is better and that's pure for both of your hearts. Your hearts and theirs, theirs and yours. So that's the general rule of covering the face in front of a non-Mahram man is always best. Very important for us to understand this, guys. Whether it's obligatory or not, medheb, culture, you can't lose by doing it. And there's no doubt there's an athab, okay? With regards to modesty, bashfulness, seeing a woman's face versus not seeing Face. So with that being said, uh, and before we move forward, we have to realize something, even among non-Muslims, this is accepted. You look at the culture of a widow and where the word widow's peak comes from, okay? On your head, you have a widow's peak. What's meant by that? Why? How did a widow dress? All right, what did she wear? What type of thing did she place upon her face in the death of her husband? It means something and there's a reason why. So you can't lose that covering the face is safest, is best, is pure, all right? Tayyib. So therefore, out of respect and more modesty and humility, perhaps that's best. As far as the rule of having a male teacher, uh, the dynamics of that, then that's a different discussion. Wallah